Hey, <coughs> what I want to talk about this. This is a crystal oscillator. This is a small kind of component that is almost on every every device. It is in phones, it is in computers, laptops, and actually other digital electronics. Eh? And this is the kind of component that it, you find in every kind of phone. Today I had many motherboards here. Yeah? And I was going through some of them and trying to check these crystal slaters. Have you ever come across a phone that doesn't look bad, you change batteries, you try to flash, but there's not power on, and maybe does not even charge, does not detect in the computer, so you never know. The issue might be from this crystal slate, and they rarely fail, but you can find cases when they fail too. So these are multiple more motherboards, and each motherboard actually has a crack. You see, it's the same. This is an iPhone 5, and this one has got two two clocks. It has this one and this one. Actually, if you can Google these numbers, you can get to know the frequency they are running on. Even their that you can get their data sheet. So today, I have a phone. It is actually working better. It is an old phone. This one, but we are going to test on this one and see the effects of a clock. Actually, the function of a clock it sets up the speed. You see, this phone goes on powers on well, actually charges. But we are going to try and remove that clock and see what if a clock is failed, how will our phone behave? Actually, the function of a clock is to set up the bits or the speed on which a phone or any component works. You know, digital component series works with the speed. So it is the guy that resonates, mm, you see, that resonates uh, to set up the bits of any digital chip so we are going to test from this phone it's one of the phones that i have in my workshop that actually just i feel to get a starch so it's the one we are going to use eh? i'm going to remove it next i do some examination and find out how can you get to know that your device has got a failed clock Actually, this one has got a claw that actually has the frequency written on it. This one is 29 or 26 megahertz. So let's try to remove it and see. We have seen the front power in one well with it. Then we are going to remove it and see how does a phone behave. When a clock has failed, I've never come across any cases when I'm changing the clock. But I will admit that I've come across many cases when I can't fix them. I'm a motherboard. And uh, there are some kind of tools that uh, actually are being outdated. But they were the best in fixing such issues. There's what they call a probe. And then I need the probe. A probe is very good and very essential to help you fix these things because you don't need to remove a, a crystal from a circuit to check it. Let's cool the board down. 
it actually has four pins and these pins these two pins you see are the extreme end of grounds and this one plus this one are the ones where you get the frequency so let's put it back in the motherboard in the housing and see with this phone still power on without it let's test I'm actually using this this look down time to explore more the behaviors of these kind of components when they fail. So let's try to power it on. And see if it can still power on. seeing the effect it actually doesn't power on you see let me try to probe it with a charger let me put in a charger here From my meter here, my amp meter shows that this guy takes up some amps, but does not actually charge. <laughs> this is how essential this guy is. I have tried it in a computer and still does not detect. So in case you come across a device like this, which does not actually charge, does not detect in a computer, does not power on. I've tried it on, the, on a power supply, and when you try on a power supply, it can consume something like 0 .0 0.04 milliamps and ends up there. So let's, let's put it back and see if this phone will actually power on. Let me do it first. Uh, the worst part is it is actually hard um, to test a clock in circuit. Some people use what they call an oscillator, oscilloscope I mean. But you know an oscilloscope is uh, somehow an expensive tool. It's kind of expensive. But we can use these kind of measures. This guy is actually better than a battery. Mm -hmm. My phone, I mean, I never get it. Let's wait for it to cool down. Okay, it has cooled down. Let's put it back. And see if this phone will power on again. <coughs> mm, what you're hearing is um, it's my blower turning off makes a lot of noise when it's going off.
actually in some some motherboards you find that it has multiple clocks for power supply for cpu uh, for other chips but in some china phones you find that they use one clock because most of all the chips need a clock even network chips need a clock let's see if it charges uh, i've put on the charger let's see if it can charge mm, it is actually showing and right now it shows the battery let's see battery moved You see, 57. Let's try, try, let's try to power it on. Oh my goodness. It has powered on, though the screen is disconnected. Now that's another issue. But the good thing is, Actually, in case your device's clock has failed, your phone will not even power on, will not even charge, and will not even detect in a computer. So, in case you come across such an issue, you can always check your clock. Yeah. Okay. This has been just a short video. Just to discuss with you guys about that if you like the video and you want to see more of these kind of videos you can you can like and subscribe thank you